for coming out. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. You've just been signing autographs for an hour and a half. <laughs> Tell people how that was. Oh, it was awesome. It was awesome. You know, tons of people coming up, asking for autographs, taking pictures. I mean, I enjoyed every moment of it, and it just shows, you know, how passionate these fans are. Yes, they, it was it was a wild scene, Ryan Lemon. There were people absolutely everywhere, and he signed all of them, took the pictures. He got a big taste of Big Blue Nation. Yes, sir, I did. I did. I loved it, though. I, I, when I came in, it was like a zoo, and I couldn't even find you. You were over here in the corner because yeah. the line was wrapped around through the restaurant, out the door, out the street. I know. <laughs> yeah, they stuck me in the corner over there, but, I mean, we got up. every Just about every person in line was able to come up, meet me, sign some autographs. It was great. I asked him uh, if he ever did a basketball pregame show at NC State. Uh, they never asked the quarterback to do that before, and this is kind of new for us too. Yeah, We're crossing this, over uh, the cross sports here. Yeah, this is my first one. Okay, first so one. then go ahead, break down. What do you think about Kentucky and Florida tonight? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did the notes on uh, Florida basketball. What are you seeing from the Gators? Yeah, not quite yet. I didn't get to it, but uh, it's coming up here. What well, was it like, um, you know, you haven't been here too long, and this is really your first time doing You had the Fan Fest uh, last weekend, but really getting ingrained with the fan base. You liking it so far? Yeah, it's been awesome. It's been awesome. I mean, you get a true feel for how much these fans care, and then just also, you know, being able for them to meet me from a personal side, being able to see my personality and what I'm like with my helmet off. And I think that's the coolest thing is being able to interact with all these fans and really show not only me but all my teammates too how much we really care and, you know, let them know that every time we step on that field, we leave it all on the line for them. Very mature, isn't he? he, he he's, I mean, this is a grown-up right here. He sounds like a coach. <laughs> yeah. All right, so tell me, when you ended up coming to Kentucky, what, 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 was, what, what was the deciding fact? You could have gone anywhere, and you ended up choosing the Cats. What, what, what was ultimately why? Yeah, I mean, the first thing for me was really Coach Stoops. I mean, he, he broke it down to me, and he said, look, there's no other place in the country that I know that we could prepare you to get to the next level. We know, you know, how great of a player we can make you right now. And, you know, I trusted him with everything. And, you know, even when I first got on campus hanging around guys like Eli Cox and Dane Key, I mean, they kept it straightforward with me, telling me that Coach Stoops was a player's guy. And ever since I got here, that's been 100% true. So I couldn't have made a better decision. You got, you know, Liam sitting over there at the bar. You know, you saw the success he had with Will Levis. I mean, once you found out he was the guy, that had to help too, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've had a relationship with Will, you know, ever since high school. And, you know, once. Well, you guys are from the same general area. Yeah, right? yeah, the Northeast. So we we went, competed against each other in camps all through high school. And, you know, he, he's a great guy, a good friend of mine. And, you know, I saw what Coach Goen did for him and look at the stage that he's at now. And when I went through that process, you know, I thought I could go through a very similar process that Will did as well. And, you know, I trust Coach Cohen. And, I mean, he's a brilliant guy, but at the same time, he's very personable, very relatable. And, you know, I just can't wait to play for a coach like him. <laughs>